Hello and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a review and a giveaway of Avast Marine's porthole. Hello and welcome back everyone. Uh, so uh, today is a video that combines two of my uh, favorite hobbies which is photography and reef keeping. Uh, so as you know that I'm a, a big fan of taking pictures uh, and taking videos of my reef. Uh, I do this uh, to share with you on uh, uh, YouTube but also just to kind of keep track on, on how well my tank is progressing. Uh, and uh, today I'm going to give you a review of Avast Marine Works uh, porthole. So a porthole is essentially a tube that allows you to insert your camera and take pictures uh, and video of your corals from inside the water, inside the tank. So I was lucky enough to receive uh, two uh, different types of portholes from Avast Marine to uh, try out. And so one of them I'm, I, I used to uh, do this review and the other one I'm actually gonna give away to uh, one of you lucky viewers. Uh, so uh, stay tuned at the end of the video, there's information uh, on the giveaway. Uh, but for now, let's start with the review. Okay, so uh, Avast makes uh, two types of portholes. There is uh, a long version that is about seven and a quarter inches tall, as well as a shorty, uh, which is uh, four and a quarter, I believe. And so obviously the longer one is meant for uh, uh, longer lenses. Uh, the shorter one has a collar for uh, mounting uh, smartphones, which I'm gonna show you in a moment. Uh, both, uh, have, uh, both are made of acrylic and both have the same uh, internal diameter, which is about three, uh, uh, three, uh, and, uh, three quarters of an inch. Uh, so, or a little bit over than that. Uh, and uh, both uh, have uh, uh, plastic or acrylic screws. I think they're, uh, I don't know what the difference is, but they're plastic screws that allow you to uh, uh, mount uh, your lens. Uh, so here's an example uh, of me mounting uh, my 105 macro lens uh, on the shorty. It's a fairly straightforward process. Uh, you just uh, uh, gently put the uh, uh, the lens in and you uh, uh, gently tighten the screws. You don't have to over tighten the screws and if you're worried about the screws scratching your lens barrel, which uh, I, I'm not, you could always put like a, a, a small uh, uh, a small sheet of uh, tissue paper uh, just around the barrel of your lens. And uh, here is what uh, the camera looks like when it's mounted uh, to the porthole. It feels pretty secure. Uh, and uh, I've tried uh, the porthole, the shorty porthole with uh, five lenses that range from uh, wide angle all the way to 105 and it worked really well. Uh, anything larger, I think you would have to use the, the taller version of the porthole. And I'll mention that Avast Marine also makes uh, a yellow filter uh, that allows you to take a picture uh, of your tank under all blues if, if you wish. Uh, and the filter just uh, slips right in the bottom of the porthole and, and you could shoot through it with your uh, digital SLR or your uh, uh, iPhone. So I'm going to show you some sample pictures that I took with uh, the porthole and uh, uh, different lenses that I have. So the first set of pictures is taken with my uh, kit lens. It's a zoom uh, lens that I set to 35. And uh, th these are really, really uh, uh, quick pictures. Uh, you know, I didn't, uh, I didn't set up uh, and spend a lot of time with post processing. So essentially, you're seeing pictures uh, straight out from my camera. Uh, and uh, for the most part, I was, I was uh, really happy uh, uh, with uh, with the uh, zoom lens in terms of taking pictures of uh, kind of full corals. Uh, one uh, one concern that I had was uh, whether at 35 millimeters whether I was going to actually be able to see the the outside diameter of the porthole. But uh, you see in the pictures that uh, I'm able to shoot through uh, the clear acrylic without getting any of the black uh, tube uh, in the photo. The next set of pictures is taken with my Nikon 40 millimeter macro. Uh, so the macro lens, uh, e even though it's very similar to uh, uh, the focal length is very similar to my 35 millimeter zoom, but it allows me to close focus, which uh, which uh, enable me to take better pictures 
of corals that were high up in my tank. Uh, so one consideration when you're shooting with a porthole is is obviously uh, the size of your tank is going to, and where you have your corals is going to uh, set some restrictions about the angles that you're going to be able to take. All right? If all of your corals, if you have a shallow tank and all of your corals are up near the water, uh, then it's going to be a little bit difficult to maneuver the porthole in. Uh, for me, uh, working with the 40 millimeter lens, I, I was able to kind of essentially hover a few inches over the corals and still be able to take uh, uh, really sharp pictures of them. Uh, if you have uh, a bigger tank, uh, then uh, I think you, you could have a lot more possibilities of, of pictures and angles uh, that you could have, especially if your corals are a little bit lower in the tank. Uh, but uh, with the 40 millimeters, I, I was pretty happy in terms of getting uh, uh, really detailed uh, and, and sharp pictures of uh, full-size colonies. And you can see that the, the angles that I'm shooting at, you know, it's kind of impossible to replicate if you, if you aren't in the water in a porthole. After uh, the 40 millimeter, I used the 60 millimeter macro. So this allows you to take uh, closer uh, close up pictures of uh, your corals. And uh, I actually had uh, a lot of fun with this uh, lens because uh, uh, you'll you'll see that I'm able to get like fairly close pictures. You could see like good details in the polyps and uh, and uh, the focal length is is kind of pleasing enough that you when you have a coral in focus you have the background uh, uh, out of focus a little bit so you, you could isolate the subject which is uh, which was a little bit harder to do with the 40 uh, millimeter macro because it's more of uh, a little bit wider you know for the, the next picture is uh, of the bonsai is uh, kind of one of my favorites uh, and it's it's a picture that you would never be able to take that perspective you would never be able to take unless you're actually uh, in, using the porthole in the water so uh, uh, it uh, it gives you a lot of kind of flexibility in terms of uh, um, posing your uh, uh, and framing your picture instead of just like top down or from the side like uh, how I normally would shoot uh, corals I'm able to kind of get some uh, some pleasing angles in there as well. Uh, this is another example of the subject, uh, the orange passion being in focus and the background a little bit blurred. And let's see who's next. Uh, this is uh, this is my uh, jack o' lantern Leptotheris, I think. And again, with the uh, uh, with the uh, uh, sixty millimeters looking straight down on the porthole, we're getting really good details on on the coral. And I think the last picture with the 60 is the Birds of Paradise. And so after shooting quite, uh, quite a bit with the 60, uh, I decided that I should uh, uh, then try the 105 macro. So the, the 105 macro is, uh, uh, is a beast of a lens. But the problem is it, uh, you have to be, I think, about, about a foot. No, uh, maybe half a, fo half a foot. You have to be half a foot away from... Uh, the subject for it to close focus. So uh, for corals that were at the bottom of my tank, like the Aura Birds of Paradise, I, I was able, and, and this one, uh, the uh, Refract Pac-Man, I was able to get really, really nice close-ups. You could make out the polyps, you could make up the tissue. Uh, so it, it's uh, the, the 105 would, would give you really, really uh, good detail on, on good close-ups on, on the coral. The only disadvantage with using the 105 with the porthole in my tank is because my tank is so shallow uh, that most of my corals on the top shelf, it's really difficult to take a picture with them because they're essentially far, uh, really far, uh, uh, sorry, they're too close to uh, uh, to the camera for it to focus. So uh, th that was the kind of the only disadvantage. Uh, but uh, if, if you have a deeper tank uh, and you have a, a little bit more space, then I think you could use a longer focal length uh, to be able to get some really sharp close-up pictures of your corals uh, with uh, a 105 or even a 200 uh, uh, millimeter lens. So the shorter version of the porthole has this lip and it actually comes with an adapter uh, for you to be able to mount your iPhones uh, so uh, it, or other smartphone, uh, I presume. Uh, 
and uh, it, it's uh, pretty straightforward uh, uh, you could uh, you just uh, the adapter kind of uh, is spring loaded so you uh, place it around your phone and it's got a screw uh, that attaches the adapter your phone uh, to the lid so that way the the phone camera is essentially uh, uh, perpendicular oh, sorry parallel uh, to uh, the, the porthole the bottom of the porthole and so I I, I, I thought this little adapter was uh, really fun because uh, uh, if you've uh, if you've seen my channel, you know that I like to do uh, a top-down uh, tour of my SPS. Uh, I really like the top-down look of the tank because that's where the colors are most intense. Uh, but unfortunately, wh how I used to shoot the top-down uh, uh, tour before uh, it was just above the water, and you would always get the reflection of uh, the radions. And so uh, I I really kind of get annoyed when I'm trying to show you my uh, lovely corals and then you get these uh, all of the L different clusters of LED showing on the water surface and sometimes there's a coral right underneath and I have to kind of shade the LED so that way you could see it it, it was always kind of a little bit uh, uh, it's less than ideal so I was really excited to see whether I'm able to get good videos uh, of my uh, tank uh, using the iPhone uh, with with the porthole being immersed in the water so the the beauty about that is that we because the because we're below the water surface we're not going to get any reflection from the LED so here is my first attempt at doing a video with uh, my iPhone and in the porthole and uh, right away you, you you notice that you don't see the radions uh, the radion reflection but you are actually seeing a reflection of my hand as well as my iPhone so what's happening here is that there is light that is entering inside of the porthole bouncing off of the lens and then coming back to be recorded so i uh, i thought long and hard about how to solve this and the answer was like really simple essentially what you need is like a, a hood that goes over your iphone so that way no light passes through uh, passes on the inside of um, of the porthole itself and bounces back uh, and i tried to uh, i actually did a little uh, a little uh, uh, mock-up of this so I, I took <laughs> I took one of my socks one of my black socks and I cut it in half and I used the the part that goes around your ankle to essentially uh, make a little hood uh, for the porthole so that way uh, when I mount the phone the the sock uh, it has a little slit so you could still see what you're shooting uh, but it covers the rest of the porthole preventing light from coming down and I did shoot a little video of that and I think in the <laughs> I, you'll, you'll see the video now uh, I think that the, the idea the concept of, of making kind of a little hood to uh, to prevent light from uh, from the radions going through the porthole and bouncing back to the lens I think I think that works uh, in my case, when I use the socks, so the sock is not obviously uh, totally opaque. There, there is uh, uh, the the there is uh, you know there's stitching, and you could see here that you're, you're getting this pattern, weird light artifact that looked like essentially light is passing through my socks. Uh, so uh, I I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go buy some uh, uh, some uh, swimsuit fabric, which is pretty opaque, like a black swimsuit fabric. Uh, most uh, uh, most fabric stores have have this kind of material feels a little bit like spandex and I'll make like a custom hood for my iPhone so that way I'm able to shoot video uh, with it uh, but overall I, I was very impressed with uh, with the Vast Marine uh, uh, porthole uh, the, I mean like you, you saw the pictures they, they look really really sharp I, I wasn't sure whether whether putting my camera through the porthole whether there's going to be some kind of loss of quality or sharpness because I'm not shooting uh, uh, straight from the camera it's uh, light is passing uh, through this uh, piece of uh, clear acrylic or, or plastic but uh, as you could saw, as you could see from my photos I, I thought they looked really sharp and you know th this this was literally my like a single day of just uh, not even a single day it was uh, half an hour of just uh, the first time I got to play with these uh, with the porthole and my lenses okay well that's uh, my review of the product uh, I think it's a fun little uh, uh, gadget if, if you if you like photography I, I think you'll have a lot of fun uh, uh, and uh, a lot of fun using this and and it will just give you a, a different a different way to shoot a, a different perspective of, of shooting your corals instead of just shooting through the glass uh, if, if you're interested in uh, 
in this product and and you're not sure wh whether you want to use uh, the short one or the long one uh, I think the long one uh, I, I think if you have lenses that are below uh, 100 mils then uh, then your the short one is definitely going to be more than sufficient uh, if you have uh, a bigger tank and where you, a lot of your corals are at the bottom of the tank then it might be worth it to uh, get the longer um, uh, the tall version of the porthole so that way you're able to use a uh, longer focal length and you're able to essentially uh, put the lens deeper into the water. Okay just a couple of announcements before we leave. Uh, one is I'm working on a full uh, an in-depth guide uh, on how to do photography, re-photography, so how to take pictures of your corals and your fish using your digital camera. Uh, that should hopefully be uh, uh, produced uh, and, and released in a couple of uh, weeks. And then uh, the second announcement is I am giving away the long porthole as well as the filter that allows you to shoot with all blues on. So there's instructions in the bottom of the, in, in the video, in the, in the description of the video about how to enter. All right. Uh, thank you so much, guys, and uh, see you soon. Have a good one. Bye.